Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial to show you how to make one of these little scrunchies. And for this project, you're going to need a 3.5 millimeter hook, and you're going to need some kind of um, rubber band, preferably one that already has some kind of outside to it. I mean, you can get other kind of rubber bands, but it's probably going to be harder to work with. Get a stiffer one, one that's got a outside it already already and also you're going to need um, yarn that is really pretty on its own and you can use variegated yarn like I did with these two and with this one I don't know if you can see the sparkles in it very well but it uh, this is made with kind of smaller yarn and this is made with more of a medium sized sparkle yarn I really don't know if you can see that. There you go. See the sparkles? And this one? It's got sparkles running all the way through it. This is the green variegated one. It's made with the, the worst weight yarn. So this is like regular 10 ply worst weight yarn right here. And if you make it smaller, like this one, use smaller yarn, like more sports weight size yarn it just comes out you know thicker when it comes to the petals they're closer together and when you use thicker yarn see they're farther apart so if you can get some thinner yarn that is really pretty sparkles or whatever inside of it I would definitely suggest doing this one because I, like I said I made them in three sizes this was the smallest yarn this one was like more of a medium size which is also gorgeous and then both of these were made with the, the worst weight yarn. So you're going to need some pretty yarn and rubber band and a 3.5 millimeter hook or size E hook for the U.S. And it doesn't matter what kind of yarn you use or what size. The pattern basically stays the same. You're going to be working with um, stitches that are divisible by three. So you can do count three all the way through, but that's that's crazy. So what you need to do is just um, try to fill it up as much as you can with your single crochets. So pick your yarn, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Whatever yarn that you're going to be using, get your 3.5 millimeter hook or size E hook, and let's start attaching the yarn to the rubber band. What you do is you're doing a single crochet. You just go through the center, grab your yarn, and you're just going to pull up, just like you would go through any loop on a project, and then you single crochet. Let me get a little closer here, now that I showed you my finished ones. Okay, I'll show you again. To attach to the rubber band, just put your hook through the rubber band and grab some yarn pull up a little bit just because you want to try to mine is kind of flat I want to try to bring it up to the top if it's a circle it's okay probably easier I'm going to pull it just to tighten it on my rubber band some and I'm going to single crochet then to make the next one you go through again the rubber band pull up a loop and single crochet. You want to continue to single crochet. Don't worry about counting, just try to cover that rubber band up. We could always take out stitches later if we need to. Like I said, we just need to make sure that our stitches are divisible by three. So continue to cover your rubber band. Try to stay everything going the right direction. Try to make sure that it doesn't turn on you. If you need to go a little looser to pull up your yarn like this, do so. Just do your best to have your rubber band not turn. Mine is easier to tell because it's flatter. With a round one, it may not matter so much because the whole thing is round. Probably much easier. Those were the kind I was looking for, but I didn't have them. 
So just continue around and uh, push your stitches down as you go. But don't do it too tight where they're like that, where you can't work with them. Make sure that they're kind of loose, kind of like on a regular stitch project. If you were making a, a napkin or anything, just, you know, tight but not too tight. Keep them together. Keep working your way around, and I will see you at the end when you're done. Here I am. I've got to the end here. Now I'm just looking at my yarn. My loops, just to make sure I've got my all my black covered up, and that my stitches aren't too tight. I think it looks good. Now let's count to see how much we have. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 37. Okay, well we can adjust. I'm gonna, well, now I got a little black part in there. Now I lost count again. Okay, 36 was too small, so I went 39. <coughs> and I think it's good. So once you get your stitches on there good and it's a number that's divisible by three, then we can get started. What you want to do for round two is to chain four and then skip two stitches one two whoops I forgot to slip stitch into my beginning one you want to slip stitch in this first stitch here and then chain four then you want to skip two stitches one two and then the third slip stitch Show you again. There's two stitches here. One of this one and just slip stitch. Then chain four. Skip two stitches. And then slip stitch. Chain four. Skip two stitches. Then slip stitch. Continue to do that all the way around. Okay, when you get done, you have something like this I'm at the end here, and I'm going to slip stitch in this beginning place where I first started my chain. And I have my four on my hook, just two stitches in between. Slip stitch in the same hook here. And then I'm going to slip stitch in this first chain four space to the left. Just like that, and then chain three. My yarn getting away from me. Okay, and in that same chain four space, you want to slip stitch your chain three to that chain four. And chain three again. Slip stitch it into the same chain four space. Chain three. Slip stitch it into the same chain four space. And continue to do this for a total of seven times. You can see here that I have these little petals here being made from slip stitching into the same one. You want to make sure you have seven of those. So do it seven times. When you get done and you get to the next one, slip stitch into the next chain four space and then chain three and continue seven more times in this. Slip stitch into the next chain three and then slip stitch seven more times in this one. Continue to get all the way around. Anyway, I want you to continue all the way around till you get to the very end, then slip stitch in the beginning stitch where you started, and then get your hook and get underneath these single crochets next to your rubber band, grab your tail, slip them through there, and then you're going to want to pull your rubber band 
just like that on where your tail is. And I don't see my tail. Oh, there it is. Here. See, to make sure that your tail gets pulled underneath the other stitches and then you have excess, cut it. And then that'll be it. That's all there is to it. Just three simple rows. And it looks awesome when you put it on your your hair. Just like that. Well, there you go. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful. And if you make any of these, please share pictures on my blog because I love to see things that people make from uh, the, these tutorials. So please like this video and don't for forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.